Right, I'm going to talk about question six today from the same paper, 2022 AQA, A-level chemistry, paper two. So that's question six. So this question about compound X with the empirical formula C2H4O. So figure two shows the infrared spectrum of X. Figure three shows the carbon 13 of X. <coughs> and the proton NMR of X shows four peaks with different chemical shapes values. Right, let's so show the information figure two, figure three, and figure table three to be used to deduce the structural compound X. So if you look at the first figure, okay, so let's do the infrared. From the infrared spectrum, you can see there's a broad peak in here, which is at uh, for uh, uh, OH H of alcohols. That comes at 3.430 meters uh, minus one. Between this value here, it is alcohols present. And then there is another peak at 17.20, which is this one here, uh, for the presence C double bond O. So if you look at, so there is an alcohol and a carbonyl group present. So from carbon-13 NMR, there are four peaks, one, two, three, four, okay? So the peak at 2010 is for aldehydes and ketones, so you're looking at that one there. The peak at 75 is for CO, so it should be the C bond O for alcohols. The peak at 25 is for uh, this structure here, all right, present. And the peak at 20 parts per million is for the CCA bond present, okay? So that's the information. So you describe the information that you see. Then you have these values here. So you've got a, point, uh, a, part, a quartet with integration one at 3.9 parts per million, a singlet with integration one at 3.7 parts per million, and then it's got singlet with integration 3, 2.1. And then you've got a doublet with integration of 3 at 1.2. So that's the information they give you for proton NMR. So from proton NMR, you say that quartet at 3.9, integration 1, means that there is, an, there is adjacent CH3 present, common CH3 present. So therefore, it's for HCO present. Okay, so it'll be this bit here. Um, Okay, so there is also a singlet with an integration one at 3.7, which got no adjacent hydrogens, okay, if we think it's that one there. So there's a peak at 2.1 with integration of three, which is a singlet, no neighboring hydrogens, so we think it's this bit here. And then there is a doublet with integration of three at 1.2 parts per million, which is this, in, this bit here, which is, uh, it's got, uh, a neighbor which is a CH present. Okay, from this information, you can work out that this is the compound that is present in there. That's a compound X. Okay, uh, the compound X is going to be C4H8O2 as a molecular formula. Okay, but we can, I'm going to explain to you how I got to that conclusion. So let's start with, let me just see if I've done, I've done something here which I can't find now. Hold on. Oh yeah, hold on. It's here. In the back of the paper here. So if I draw this structure that I just done, joining everything together, so this is the compound that I just come up with. Just to, comp just to prove that this is the compound or the molecular formula, uh, you can start with, there's a singlet. If you look at your question paper, sorry, it's a bit complicated here in my paperwork. So there is a, oh, let's just do that. This is like a bit confusing, but look at that. There's a singlet, this CH3 is going to be a singlet because it's got no carbon with hydrogen neighbors. So it has to be a singlet. The integration is three protons, okay? So that will be a 2.1 parts per million. This has to be further and then of uh, that bit there because, uh, now this one is further than that, because that CH3 has got something attached to it, which pushes downfield, okay? The further downfield, because CO is present for this reason here. So then you have a quartet here, because you've got one hydrogen here, sorry about not drawing this properly, one hydrogen here with a carbon with three hydrogens there. So my neighbor has four hydrogens, so it forms a quartet, okay? But the integration of this is one, there's only one hydrogen. So then I have a doublet, okay, so I'm, I come out with a quartet of 3.9, because you got here 3.9, which one, 
matches the, the description. Then you got a doublet here because that CH3 is next to Calvin, who's got only one hydrogen. So because my neighbor is only one hydrogen, I have I see a doublet, but then represents integration of three because I've got three hydrogens there. Okay. And this one here, OH, which is the alcohol bit, is only got no neighbors, so no carbon in neighbors here. So therefore it's going to be zero plus one, which is singlet. Okay, and that's going to be a 3.7. Now, this, this is attached to a CO, is attached to a, a CO, therefore it's going to be at that point there. You can look at your data book and you see where it comes up. So if you look at those structures and those values there, they do match up. So you got here 1.2 doublet, there you are, 1.2 doublet, integration 3. I got 2.1 singlet, integration 3, 2.1 singlet, integration 3. Then you've got 3.7 singlet, which is this one here, integration 1. And then you have 3.9 quartet, integration 1. Okay? And this is, uh, that, that CH3 is further filled than that, because that's 1.21, because it's attached a C double bond O there. That's why, so it goes down further field. Okay? So if you sum up all the integration values, it gives you 8. Okay? There's 8 protons. If there's 8 protons, your form is going to be... C, I told you it was a C2, it has C1 to C4, H8, O2. So that's the molecular form of your compound. So that's how you work that out. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you like that explanation, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Pick that you liked it. Uh, leave a comment, please. Uh, I really need to um, evaluate what I need to know from you guys, what you want to give you some more uh paper explanation the best i can this is all my opinion so you know take it as my way of answering the question